time of year, people all over the world are getting ready for Christmas Eve. <laughs> yes, Lauren, Christmas Eve is only nine days away. Santa Claus is coming to town. Santa Claus is coming to town. Santa Claus is coming to town. I know, Lauren has been working hard getting ready for Christmas Eve. NORAD is the United States Canadian military organization responsible for aerospace warning and aerospace control in the defense of North America. NORAD provides warning of impeding missiles and air attacks over North America and maintains airborne forces for defense against any attacks. NORAD performs this important mission 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. However, on December 24th each year, NORAD has one additional mission, tracking Santa around the world. They have been tracking Santa on Christmas Eve since 1955. That's right, Lauren, and they have everybody ready for Christmas Eve 2011. Here are a few words from the Chief Commander of NORAD. Merry Christmas. I'm Colonel Dan Constable, the Deputy Commander of the Alaska NORAD region in Anchorage, Alaska. As Christmas approaches, we are preparing for the arrival of that jolly old elf, Santa Claus. Here in Alaska, we watch the skies in the Arctic reaches of North America all day, every day, and respond to unidentified aircraft and possible threats to North America. When necessary, we send jets to see what airplanes are flying to understand why they are approaching. At Christmas, we anxiously await the moment when Santa leaves the North Pole and appears on our radar screens as he heads to Russia to start his journey on Christmas Eve. As he travels around the world, we talk to our neighbors in Canada and watch him work across our countries where he returns to Alaska to visit our children here before returning to the North Pole. To ensure he travels safely around Canada and the United States, we fly with him in our F-22 fighter jets and are there in case anything happens. It really is a wonderful thing to see Santa and help him fly safely on his important mission. If you'd like to follow Santa on his journey, we invite you to visit the NORAD Track Santa website at www.noradsanta.org. From all the men and women of the Alaska NORAD region, we wish you a very Merry Christmas. Wouldn't it be exciting to be one of those jet pilots escorting Santa across Canada and Alaska as Santa del delivers toys to all the good girls and boys? Well, Lauren, every boy and girl with the help of NORAD is able to track Santa on the NORAD Track Santa homepage. They can also track his flight using Google Earth by going to the website shown on your screen. On Christmas Eve, to follow Santa around the world in 3D. Not only can they track Santa on this website, but NORAD has a 24-hour phone line where you can call and talk to someone in person about the whereabouts of Jolly St. Nick. Wow, I bet their phone lines stay busy. I wonder when and why NORAD started tracking Santa to begin with. Now that's an interesting story. To, the tradition began in 1955 after a Colorado Springs Bay Sears advertised for children to call Saint Santa but had misprinted the telephone number. Instead of reading Santa, reaching Santa, the phone number put kids through the NORAD Commander-in-Chief Operations Highland, the Director of Operations at the time, Colonel Harry Schwoop had his staff check the radar for untrust indications of Santa making his way south from the North Pole. Children who called because of the Sears advertisement were given updates on Santa location and a tradition was born. Commander Shoup passed away in 2009. Senior Airman Langford from NORAD to join us live and hopefully answer some of our questions about Santa. Unfortunately, we are experiencing video difficulty, however, the audio, the audio is working. If you have any questions about Santa's Christmas Eve track around the world, please email us right now at the email displayed on your screen. Good morning, Senior Airman Langford. How are things going at NORAD right now? Oh, they are extremely busy gearing up for December 24th. Everyone is very excited. Here we have a question from Haley. She would like to know if Santa Claus is real. 
Haley, based on historical data and more than 50 years of NORAD tracking information, we believe that Santa Claus is alive and well in the hearts of children throughout the world. Long before the Wright brothers flew the first airplane, Santa had to find a way to travel from house to house at great speed. We know from our Santa cam images that Santa's choice for quick transportation was a herd of flying reindeer. Detailed information on these reindeer remains elusive. However, we do know that Santa enlisted the reindeer to help him with his worldwide mission of gift giving. If more of us use reindeer travel, we wouldn't be using so much gas, and maybe gas prices would go down. <laughs> <laughs> that brings up a question we all have. How old is Santa? It's hard to know for sure, but NORAD intelligence indicates Santa is at least 16 centuries old. That means he would be like 1,600 years old. Wow, Santa has certainly seen many changes take place in society. I wonder what his favorite time period in history is. Emily wants to know how Santa gets down the chimney. Although NORAD has different hypotheses and theories as to how Santa actually gets down the chimneys, we don't have definitive information to explain the magical phenomenon. I guess some things will always remain magical to us. Megan would like to know why NORAD tracks Santa every year and how does NORAD track Santa? While the tradition of tracking Santa began purely by accident, NORAD continues to track Santa. We're the only organization that has the technology, the qualifications, and the people to do it, and we love it. NORAD is honored to be Santa's official tracker. NORAD uses four high-tech systems to track Santa. Radar, satellites, Santa cams, and fighter jets. Tracking Santa starts with the NORAD radar system called the North Warning System. This powerful radar system consists of 47 installations strung across the northern border of North America. On December 24th, NORAD monitors the radar systems continuously for indications that Santa Claus has left the North Pole. The moment that radar indicates Santa is lifted off, we use our second detection system. Satellites positioned in orbit at 22,300 miles from the Earth's surface are equipped with infrared sensors, which enable them to detect heat. Amazingly, Rudolph's bright red nose gives off an infrared signature, which allows our satellites to detect Rudolph and Santa. The third tracking system is the Santa Cam Network. We began using it in 1998, which is the year we put our Santa tracking program on the internet. Santa cams are ultra cool, high tech, high speed digital cameras that are pre positioned at many locations around the world. NORAD only uses these cameras once a year. The camera captures images and videos of Santa and his reindeer as they make their journey around the world. The fourth system is made up of fighter jets. Canadian NORAD fighter pilots flying the CF-18 intercept and welcome Santa to North America. In the United States, American NORAD fighter pilots in either the F-15, F-16, or the F-22 get the thrill of flying alongside Santa and his famous reindeer. Dasher, Dancer, Prancer, Vixen, Comet, Cupid, Donner, Blitzen, and of course Rudolph. Once data is collected on December 24th, it is then pushed into the Google Maps and Google Earth so that the families all over the world can also follow Santa. That is absolutely incredible. Technology is, is absolutely amazing. One final question. This question is for, from Lydia. What is Santa's route on Christmas Eve? Santa usually starts at the International Dateline in the Pacific Ocean and travels west. So historically, Santa visits the South Pacific first, then New Zealand and Australia. After that, he shoots up to Japan, over to Asia, across to Africa, then on to Western Europe, Canada, the United States, Mexico, and Central and South America. But keep in mind, Santa's route can be affected by weather, so it's really unpredictable. NORAD coordinates with Santa's elf launch staff to confirm his launch time, but from that point on, Santa calls the shots. We just track him. Senior Airman Lamford, thank you so much for joining us today and answering some of our many questions. Senior Airman Lamford left us some technical data information about Santa's sled. The designer and builder of Santa's sled is Chris Kringle and the Elves Incorporated. The length, 75 candy canes. 150 lollipops. The way to take off, 75,000 gumdrops. Passengers weight of takeoff, 
Santa Claus, 260 pounds. Passenger weight at landing, 1,260 pounds. Propulsion, nine reindeer powers. The fuel, hay, oats, and carrots for the reindeer. Climbing speed, one twinkle of an eye. Well, that is the end of our program, program tonight. Christmas is only a few days away. In closing, we just want to say... <laughs> Merry Christmas to all and to all a good night.